Hey everybody, welcome to the AI Guide on YouTube where we focus on the human impact of AI. And I have been waiting a long time to be able to do this story. What do I mean? Well, there hasn't really been any decent articles or breakthroughs going on in ag tech driven by AI recently. You know, there was a period very recently of significant funding cutbacks by venture capital investing into agricultural technology, ag tech. But here is one that was just announced, and this is really cool. Sabi Agri shows first 100% electric co collaborative robot ag fleet at SiteV. At the SiteV trade show this week, so this is brand new, in Montpellier, France, for the wine, grape, fruit, and olive growing sectors, Sabi Agri presented its robotic harmony, what it calls the first 100% electric collaborative agricultural fleet, consisting of an Alpo electric straddle tractor and a Zillus all-terrain robot introduced this summer. So this is new tech, but as a system, brand new. Aboard the Alpo electric tractor, a wine grower can work in a vineyard and pilot the Zillus all-terrain robot, which carries out the same or complementary operations as those of the tractor. From tillage to harvesting via disease detection, the company says that the multiplicity of robots that exist today make it possible to automate a crop cycle while keeping farmers at the center of the process to give them time for a higher value add activity. So really what they're trying to do is automate farmers out of manual tasks and into higher level production planning and management roles. So Sabi Agri is a startup and it aims to make agriculture more sustainable with robust high performance electric tractors and robotics dedicated to the implementation of environmentally friendly practices in agriculture. In September 2022, it announced an 8 million euro Series A financing round, which is the first venture capital round. So they either self-funded it or raised money from family and friends before that. And we've talked about how this works. The Series A enabled the family business to continue with its ambitious development strategy of transforming its electric tractors into autonomous tractors. With more than 15,000 hours of field feedback, we are ready to deploy the next generation of versatile and collaborative robots for agriculture. In the fast growing ag tech market, Sabi Agri says it has made electricity a design asset and its electric tractors are nat natively robotizable. So that means they were designed from the ground up to be able to enable full autonomy. Turning our electric tractors into robots is just a matter of replacing the driver with an algorithm, said the CEO. Everything in our machines allows this transition. Word to the wise on farming. By the way, hopefully you understand, based on this video and prior videos, that one day soon, farms will be fully automated and you won't see people out working in fields in anymore. The state investment plan of 21 million euros by the French government over five years aims to enable the establishment, development, and marketing of robotic agroecological solutions to encourage farmers to adopt new technologies. So the French government is sponsoring this disruption. What made Robotic Harmony possible is the addition to the company's line with Zillis what it calls the most powerful wine growing robot on the planet. It uses Caterpillar tracks and an all steel mechatronic architecture to make it robust for agricultural work. It has an electric runtime of eight to 10 hours with a two hour recharge time. So this thing will run all day on a single charge and recharges in two hours and it's rugged. Our robotics are designed for use in the field, making them easy and ergonomic to use, said the CEO. Coming from the farming world, we understand the uses and expectations of farmers. This robot has to be a real day-to-day -day companion. So this is 
AI-driven ag tech created by for farmers for farmers, which is very cool. The company says that the Zillas is the only robot to offer so much modularity and four driving modes. It can work in total autonomy thanks to centimeter level RTK GPS, be driven by a remote control or directly from a driver station, and crucially work in robotic harmony with the company's Alpo electric tractor. With robotic harmony, there's no need for cartographic reconnaissance or prior surveying of the plot. So what they're saying here is that all other fully autonomous tractors require prior surveys of the land. They're pre-programming those autonomous tractors with the format of the field so that it'll actually work. This one doesn't need it. So that's a big, big improvement and a step change in automated tractors. Based on a modular design shared with the Alpo tractor, the Zillas has the same motors, battery pack, and interfaces. An adaptable height and width mean it can perform cultivation operations and work on inclines and slopes of up to 55 degrees. That's stunning. That is extremely steep slope, right? 90 degrees is straight vertical, and this is like 55 degrees. That's, that's crazy the design that these people have developed. So what they're saying is this tractor and this other thing follow along and it works two rows at once, which doubles the productivity in the field. It has three work zones with front, central, and rear tool carriers for versatility and is compatible with standard mechanical, hydraulic, and electric tools. In May, the first French partners received their Zillis models in Sauterne and Champaign. So this thing is in the field and working. So let's break this down. <laughs> Major advances in robotic tractors here just announced. One is full autonomy without previously having to program the layout of the field and all that into the tractor. This thing is truly autonomous and can figure it out on its own. The second is that it can work in a bunch of different modes. And one of the modes they talk about is something I hear that is definitely the next step in large scale farming, which is a farmer sitting in their house running multiple tractors or pieces of farm equipment at once in various fields all at once. That's fully robotic farming. So that's where things are headed. And as I said a few seconds, minutes ago in the video, it won't be very much longer except on very small farms in the developed countries that we see people actually out working in fields. This is a several year thing before it's gone. So what does that mean? That means if you work in farming, you better start learning about computers or already know about computers and you need to be prepared to learn AI and how to use it and work with it. I've been saying that very, very consistently. That's been a very consistent theme ever since I went to TED AI in October. The people who are able to use AI and work with it will run over the people who don't and those people will be the first to become unemployed. So do yourself a favor, prepare for this if you're in farming. Learn as much as you can about computers. Start learning AI using it, not programming it, using it. There's plenty of opportunities to use AI in your private life now. All you have to do is look for it a little bit and prepare yourself for a different world of farming if you're gonna be in farming. So thanks so much. Please like, subscribe, and share these videos. I was really excited to do an ag tech video after six months or so, so that was really great. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.